Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Mardi from North Telecom. Mardi, thanks for joining us again. Industry is going through quite a bit of change. What trends are you seeing? Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, well, yes, the, the market is shrinking and everybody is uh, talking about you know, uh, price reductions, excess capacity, oversupply, capacity you know and the consequence is yes market is shrinking uh, but what we can do in, in future uh, from my standpoint uh, the future is more collaborations considerations and working along the supply chain from perhaps even satellite manufacturers all the way to uh, satellite operators service providers system integrators we have to understand and we need to understand what is the value proposition of, of every players in the supply chain. You know, if we understand, we perhaps can consolidate our expertise, resources, and the result would be, you know, uh, we can save a lot of cost. We can come up with more uh, innovative idea, and you know, we can overcome the challenge. You know. That is, uh, from my standpoint of view in the future, we need to explore and we need to understand how we can move from a conventional business model, which we all somehow we were doing in the past, you know, just selling and buying type of basically transactions, which is very, very old concept in, in every niche market, to be like more collaborative, you know, to go for more basically a strategic partnership to address all the concern of all the players inside the supply chain, you know. This will ensure every party to have a sustainable, basically, business in the mid to long terms, rather than just thinking short terms, you know, and, you know, then we don't know what is going on, I mean, sometimes after two, three years. We have to understand this, this concept and we really need to uh, perhaps change a little bit uh, our culture, whomever, you know, and think about more collaboration and consolidation and working together, you know. Are you finding that the customers are demanding more and more? Uh, quite honestly, uh, some customers, yes, in some particular verticals, they are demanding more because they are under impression that, okay, if they go for the volume of the business, the price is going to be cheaper at the end of the day, you know, with a new concept look like HDS satellite, you know, in, in the market, or for instance, for some any some very very particular uh, verticals look like IP backhauling, for instance, or ISPs. Definitely, they demanding more because uh, their consumer they are demanding more. You know, everybody want to move to more broadband type of connectivity. But IP trunking customers they are just a very particular uh, type of the customers in, in our industry. Perhaps I would say maybe in the very next future by you know a more advanced inside aeronautical Michael uh, aeronautical basically uh, verticals you know uh, we, we, we are we are going to witnessing some more demand you know high throughput maybe satellite help us to to serve the broadband connectivity inside uh, aviation industry but then the other challenge would be, for instance, with the new regulation of U.S. banning the laptop and all, then the question would be, okay, now we all in the satellite industry, we are trying to bring a broadband connectivity inside uh, airplanes, you know, then how people, they can utilize the broadband connectivity, you know, if, if really the uh, authority want to put the ban on, you know, like anything bigger than the mobile, you know, that would be our challenge. We, we never, I mean... I believe nobody thought about it, you know, maybe one day the laptops would be banned on all international flights, you know. This would be the challenge. Yeah, as I said, in some particular verticals, we are witnessing more demand, in much more demand actually. In some particular verticals, actually people are asking for more reliability, you know, perhaps more value add rather than just pipe, because pipe is something, value add is something. Previously, people just asking for basically a connectivity itself 
But right now, people they are asking for a lot of value add. You know, perhaps cloud computing, uh, computing, computing a little bit security. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people they, they would like to expand and extend the, uh, the their uh, business application. You know, some some soft, some sort of CRM software or whatever they have, all the way to all the branches. You know, uh, talking about oil and gas industry, for instance. You know. They are willing even to have the CRM systems on, on board, you know, inside the vessels, rig and all, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, they, are, they are demanding a little bit more, but it is not just about the capacity, I would say, it's about the, the value, the, the value add, you know. I mean, we as a service provider, we have to make sure we, we have all and every expertise in-house or we have a reliable partners we can serve to our customer at the end of the day. Now, cyber security, with security in general is a major problem. Every day you read something about somebody's been hacked. As a service provider, you are partly responsible for making sure that that doesn't happen. How difficult is that? Uh, very good question. Well, uh, we are, we as a service provider, actually, we are, I mean, our court is to uh, provide infrastructures and make sure the infrastructures itself is secure, you know, and is reliable enough to be able to serve to our customers. There is two different dimension for cybersecurity from my standpoint of view. Cybersecurity in terms of making the infrastructure secure and cybersecurity to make the application secure. We as a service providers often or normally we don't have any access to the customer application and we don't want to have any access to the customer application because we are not doing any manipulation or whatever you know we just simply providing the pipe that's it you know but we have to make sure even this connectivity this pipe is secure nobody is going to intercept the data you know with whatever uh, infrastructure we are providing for for our uh, basically customers yeah it is a challenging we, we are working with the different firms, different expertise to make sure uh, this particular part of the network will remain secure. At the meantime, definitely we have some expertise in-house. We are often talking with our customers. We are trying to basically give them some advice. We have some uh, uh, monitoring tools. If we see there is any uh, basically threat, uh, uh, basically for our customers or uh, any any unusual activity toward our customer network we make sure we send the proper notification to our customers and making the sure okay guys there is some threat you better take some measurement and all yes but as I said there is two part infrastructures and application which normally application is shouldered by the end customer and but definitely we are always ready to help them you know to make the customer make their application secure now, I wasn't going to mention it, but HDS, you mentioned yeah. it. Is it really having an impact? Uh, well, uh, yes. Uh, it's, it's more about mindset, to be very honest, rather than, uh, you know, uh, and there is a period I believe we have to pass it, we all. I mean, uh, HDS has been, okay, has been introduced from my standpoint of view, just my personal standpoint of view, a little bit in the wrong way, you know. Back in 2012, we all, especially satellite operators, they were promoting the HDS satellite just with one pillar. Better price, lower price, better to say, and better quality. It was the marketing tools, you know, we have a lot of element inside the marketing strategy of each and company. If you day first, you introduce your new product just with the single pillar, which is the price, that's it. You don't emphasize on other value which you're gonna bring with the new product. You just tell to the people, okay, gentlemen, we're gonna bring a very good product with much lower price, much better quality than you give the wrong impression to the, to the market. I believe somehow we did it, but there is nothing to do with HTS right now. It, HTS is not some wrong concept. I mean, from my standpoint of view, it's, a, it's, it's, it's other technology, it's a different means of the communication. Eventually, for me, my interpretation of the HTS is like, look like any other market. You have a different brand, different product with a different uh, value, you know. We have, for instance, in airline industry, 
you have low-cost carriers, you are targeting some particular segment, versus you have all your international brand, they are, they are targeting some other segment, you know. Definitely there are some overlap between these two industries at the end of the day, I mean between these two segments, but it doesn't mean, for instance, low-cost carrier can 100% take the market share of all those big international and vice versa, you know. I would say the hashiest uh, concept in the long run would be some concept which eventually will address some segments versus the conventional satellite would be suitable for uh, you know some other segment. It's it's not going to be like okay in the long few in the uh, in the long terms we see okay HTS will take over everything and the conventional satellite will be just gone. You know I mean from my standpoint it doesn't happen. I mean it's not going to happen at the end of the day. Now going back to the very first question where you talked about the market consolidation retraction. What are your plans? Have you got plans to grow bigger? Have you got plans to take over some other enterprises? What, how are you evolving? Yeah, we actually, we got a couple of uh, different strategy right now. Uh, the first one, definitely we want to concentrate on organic growth. This is one of our roadmap and the strategy inside North Telecom. The second one, definitely we are going to acquire and merge with some of the, uh, the firms across the globe, you know, to utilize their expertise, to do more consolidation, and the third one is we are heavily working with a lot of players and other suppliers to see how we can leverage their facility and their infrastructures and their uh, basically uh, uh, systems to, to bring the value inside North Telecom. You know, it simply is that in the third, I mean, the third strategy is about economy of scale and economy of sharing. You know, other uh, businesses, they are doing that. They did it. They are doing is quite successful, and I'm urging satellite industry players, all my fellow colleagues, to think about collaborations rather than to duplicate and replicate the, uh, basically the, the whatever we have. You know, it, it really doesn't make sense to to go for basically uh, duplicate everything. You know, it's cost. It's all about cost. You know, if we are talking about cost, satellite capacity is just one element of the cost. We have a lot of other overhead inside satellite industry, you know. The capacity is shrinking, okay, it's fine, it's the reality, but other elements of the cost. Do we have any solution for the other element? Yes, there are some solutions. We need to understand how we can work each to, each, to each others, how we can work in a win-win situation, you know, to utilize our resources and our expertise to have a win-win uh, situation inside the satellite industry. Mahdi, thank you very much. Thank you so much.